The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is one of the best smartphones offered by this year. From its attractive design and camera modules to its specs, it has undeniably become popular among the masses. And earlier this month, Realme debuted Realme 10, the first edition of a new series that follows the Realme 9 series. Although the gap between its development and release is unusually long, this does not imply that the gap is similarly wide in terms of its specifications. Mabuhi Manila, this is Edmar, and this is our comparison review of the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G and the Realme 10. Let's begin! Let's talk about their design and construction first. Our Galaxy A23 5G comes in the color Awesome Orange, where our Realme 10 comes in the color Clash White. Polycarbonate material with shimmers and shines is used to make both devices. Both smartphones attract fingerprints and dust due to their shiny build. Realme 10's sides are more rounded than the Samsung A23 5G's, giving them a more appealing appearance. When it comes to ergonomics, each of their buttons is well placed and identical. On the left side is the nano SIM tray with two slots along with the dedicated micro SD card slot while on the right is located the power button, integrated as a fingerprint scanner, and the volume rockers. Underneath it is a 3.5mm headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port, and speaker grill. The Realme 10 is lighter than its competition but both of them are easy to carry. The Realme 10 has an advantage with its punch hole camera on the top left over the Galaxy A23's water drop notch front facing camera at the top center of the display. Speaking of the display, the Realme 10 has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display panel with an FHD plus resolution while the A23 has a taller 6.6 inch PLS LCD display. Aside from that, Galaxy A23 5G has a higher refresh rate of 120Hz over the Realme 10's 90Hz refresh rate. Both devices are protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass 5. We experience fluid animations as we move around our display. Both smartphones boast displays that are brilliant, crystal clear, and dazzling as well as extremely small bezels and almost visible chin bulges. A punch hole carrot for Realme 10's camera is located at the upper left of the device whereas A23 has the standard water drop notch selfie snapper. As for the camera is already been mentioned, the Galaxy A23 has a more than 50% edge over the Realme 10. In comparison to the current dual camera arrangement with a 50 megapixel main camera and 2 megapixel depth sensor on the Realme 10. The A23 quad camera setup with a 50 megapixel primary camera with 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel for both macro and depth provide a major increase. The Realme 10 showed better results using the main camera in the first shot. The color and resolution were enhanced in the HDR feature, whereas the Galaxy A23 produced a natural shot with good resolution and image quality. Moving on to the next photo, is still the Realme 10 provides better results. While the Galaxy A23 gives us realistic color production with decent quality if you look closely at the both photos, the color and the quality of the Realme 10 are much more enhanced. With the main camera on both sides, the Realme 10 takes the trophy. Using portrait mode, both the Realme 10 and Galaxy A23 5G show good subject to background separation. The Realme 10 had an advantage when it comes to color. As a result we got from the main camera, the Realme 10 still showed good color reproduction whereas the A23 is capable of producing. While in the next photo, the two devices also showed a good bokeh effect that does not affect the background of the subject to the photo. Meanwhile, the A23 has a change background effect feature that you can customize its background effects and colors based on your preferences. At this point, both devices showed good performance. Taking photos at night using its night mode is making better results in Realme 10. The colors it gives are brighter shots without overexposing its lights and also produce a good image resolution. At the same time, the A23 has adequate color production with a decent image resolution. The same results are in the next image. The color given by the A23 5G 
is realistic in color and its light shots are too bright which causes it to overshadow the other shots in the image. However, it can still provide enough shots for low light situations. In the night mode feature, it's very clear that the Realme 10 takes the crown. With a 16 megapixel front facing camera compared to a 23's 8 megapixel selfie, the Realme 10 offers a significant advantage. Switching to the Realme 10's front camera always produces better selfies. While the A23's colors are well pretained with a skin tone that is true to life. In the next photo, it can be seen here that the shot of the Realme 10 and Galaxy A23 has a skin and face enhancement that helps to make the shot of a selfie more beautiful. But Realme 10 provides more filters. So with the selfie camera, Realme 10 is undeniably the winner. In terms of video recording, Realme 10 offers 1080 pixels at 60 fps with OIS while the Galaxy A23 5G only shoots up to 30 fps. As for their sounds, we experienced louder and great audio quality on the Realme 10 of having an ultra boost audio feature that can be maximized its volume by up to 200%. While A23's speaker gives good and capable quality. We are not expecting a poor performance here since pretty much any device can run Mobile Legends. The audio quality of two devices won't be a problem when it comes to gaming. Before we get to gaming, let's go over the specifications of the two. The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is powered by Snapdragon 695 5G with a 6nm process while the MediaTek Helio G99 powers the Realme 10 with a 6nm process. The Realme 10 has 8GB of RAM while the A23 has 6GB of RAM. Both devices have expandable RAM feature but the Realme 10 has more internal storage than the A23's 128GB of internal storage. They both run on Android 12 but Realme 10 has a Realme 3.0 UI while the A23 has one UI 4.1. We did benchmark testing on both smartphones. It is in here that the Realme 10 score is higher than the A23's. Even though the Galaxy A23 is 5G and the Realme 10 is only 4G, Realme 10 still scores higher because the Helio G99 has a 12.33% faster CPU speed according to our chipset comparison research. To make these things clearer, let's move on to gaming. While playing FPS or MOBA games on either of these smartphones, we saw no stuttering or frame drops which may represent a satisfactory gaming experience. Even if we increase the game's frame rate and visual quality, you will still enjoy fluidity. The battery will last longer thanks to its 6nm CPUs allowing you to spend less time charging it and more time playing. Speaking of charging, both smartphones have a massive 5000mAh of battery but the Realme has a higher 33W charging than the A23's 25W charging. The Galaxy A23 5G can fully use up its battery by 1 hour and 40 minutes while the Realme 10 only takes us 58 minutes to fully charging which is a great advancement. Apart from this, the Realme 10 has a longer battery life which can last 126 hours than the 104 hours of the Galaxy A23. These two differ from one another in variety of ways based on their attributes after being evaluated as a whole. On both smartphones, excellent gaming performance is achievable. In terms of performance, they fared well. So yes, the Realme 10 is a worthy smartphone considering its price. While it has some drawbacks like the fingerprint scanner and dual camera setup, there is no ultra wide and it only supports a 4G connection. Still, the quality of the Realme 10 provides better in camera department even though it only has a dual camera setup and its CPU speed is faster as mentioned earlier. All in all, the effectiveness of both devices was outstanding. Even while the Galaxy outperforms in several areas, there isn't a significant gap between it and the Realme 10. The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is priced at 17,990 pesos with the 6 plus 128GB variant while the Realme 10 costs 14,999 pesos with the 8 plus 256GB variant. 
Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future content. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Edmar, and babuhay Manila!